may have noted, I'm also announcing the public, uh, doing the public address for this contest. So I will be stepping away between matches to make the announcements for the wrestlers. So Lenny's pin after that takedown, 136 left in the period. So officially the fall goes down as 124. And Devlin gets credit for the takedown there. Ryan Flynn got the forfeit at 133. Of course, Flynn's 33rd victory of the year. He's 33-2. and two. Uh, Reversal now by Warner at 141. It's got Devlin in a bit of a predicament there. Warner, one of York's top wrestlers. Second on the team in wins to Flynn, 22 and nine overall, five falls, four tech falls, and four major decisions. So that means 13 of his 22 wins have scored extra points for his team this season. Reset towards the middle. A dangerous move with Devlin's head. And Warner locks in, trying to score some back points on the bullet freshman. As I said earlier, Devlin leads the team with 28 wins. He's 28-9 overall. Also leads the team in pins with nine and major decisions with seven. So a pretty good season for the bullet first year. Coming off a second-place finish at the weight class at Centennials. Warner has some back points going on here. He's got, looks like two so far. Referee waiting for Warner to let go to award the points. He does. So that puts Warner ahead 4-2 to two now. A minute 15 to go in the first period. Bullets facing off with York to close their dual schedule in the regular season schedule. With that, Gettysburg comes in at 10-6 and sec six overall. York ranked, ranked 18th in the country, and they are 13-4 and four overall. Warner again. Working Devlin's shoulders to the mat, looking for the back points. And he scores four this time. Warner ahead, eight to two now on the scoreboard. Warner from Newville, Pennsylvania. Devlin hailing from Dresher, PA. Warner again working Devlin's shoulders to the mat. Devlin just unable to get out of the grasp of Warner. Warner locked in both of his legs around Devlin's hips and just working on Devlin's left shoulder in particular. Just trying to roll Devlin over. And he scores two more points before time runs out. That puts him up 10-2 to two at the end of the first period. Pretty strong showing by Warner. Warner opts to take the top position. I mean, he knows that he's got an advantage there over the freshman. Warner just a sophomore, so just a year older than Devlin. So they're likely to see each other again in the future. Assuming York and Gettysburg continue this dual meet series. Warner again working on Devlin. Pulls him in, works that shoulder over. Devlin trying to sit up and get out of the way. This is just a one count on those back points, so nothing to award there. Warner, Devlin, dangerous move there. Looking for the reversal, though, and he pulls it off. Devlin still facing a pretty big deficit in this match. He trails 12-4. to 
Warner with over two and a half minutes of riding time. That's being worked down now as Devlin works from the top. This is definitely Devlin's best position working from the, the top. He's very long and rangy compared to a lot of the wrestlers you see at 141. He sinks in both his legs around Warner's. So he's in a very strong position here to work on Warner as the Spartan grappler was working on him earlier in the match. Second period winds down. Still an eight point deficit faced by Devlin. Warner with a minute 48 of riding time as well. So like Warner the previous pe period, Devlin will opt it for the op up position. Caution is called on Warner. So Devlin remains in the top position, but he needs to work to some back points or a, p or a pin here. He trails by eight points. He's working working the riding time down below him a minute. That's dropping below a minute as I speak. A minute 12 left in the third period. Devlin trying to flatten Warner out. Devlin trying to drag his shoulder over. Trying to roll, stretching out that left arm. He's nearly got Warner's shoulders. Devlin had to let go. Warner he was slipping off of Warner's arm. Less than 30 seconds left in the match. Looking like Warner's gonna win this. Unless Devlin pulls off a miracle in the final 15 seconds. Trails by eight. That's going to be a major decision for Greg Warner. 